Thank you to everyone for joining us for the Five Secrets of JIRA Performance at Scale webinar. My name is Marian Finch, and I am an Enterprise Product Marketing Manager out of our San Francisco office. Our speakers for today are E. Stenkovich, JIRA Product Manager, and Otto Rudinger, Principal JIRA Product Manager. Combined, they have over 20 plus years of product and software development experience. There are five main topics of performance for today's webinar. Eve will introduce some key characteristics of JIRA performance, performance improvements of JIRA 6.4, and the potential for growth. She will then hand the mic over to Otto, who will cover load versus stress testing and why you should test and how you can test in your own environment. Thank you, Marian. As companies continue to grow, performance of JIRA becomes an important factor to monitor. When talking about software performance, we usually refer to some of its characteristics. We can think of scalability, understood as an application's ability to handle additional workload. We can also think about stability, which is an application's overall availability and robustness. Or we can simply refer to speed and use response times to user requests to show how fast is the application. Here at Atlassian, we are continuously addressing all three aspects of JIRA performance. In June 2014, we introduced our JIRA Data Center offering. JIRA Data Center is specifically designed to support the increasing number of concurrent users and their activity in the system. It also provides solutions that ensure uninterrupted access to the application. However, even in a clustered environment, the single JIRA server can be the heart of major speed-related performance problems. So for JIRA 6.4, we formed a dedicated team whose goal was to improve the speed of a single JIRA server instance, specifically in large-scale environments. Thanks to this focused effort, the positive impact on performance brought with JIRA 6.4 is really impressive. Now, let me show you the numbers. Our performance tests were run on the same controlled performance lab at Atlassian. Before we started, we needed to find out what size and shape of dataset represents a typical large JIRA instance. In order to get that, we asked our customers. These numbers represent approximate data from 30 of our largest customer instances that participated in the survey. We then used the JIRA data generator add-on to produce a sample dataset with random test data for our JIRA instance. Next, we chose a mix of user actions that would represent a sample of the most common tasks in JIRA. An action in this context is opening of a full JIRA page. We used 10 scripted browsers to represent multiple user personas, and each browser was scripted to perform a random action from the list and immediately move on to the next action. Please note that in consequence, each browser performed in fact more tasks than would be possible by a real user. And we should not compare the number of browsers to represent the number of real-world concurrent users. Then we run the scripts and measure the response times of individual actions. Initially, we checked the behavior of JIRA 6.3 and used it as a reference for our improvement efforts. Our aim was to reduce the response times of those pages, so that from a user perspective, carrying out related actions in JIRA would be faster. And this is what the results show for JIRA 6 sub 4. As you can see, our performance improvement work in JIRA 6 4 provides high benefits for the most often used actions, such as viewing issues, or visiting the dashboard. More importantly, searching for issues or using filters is nearly two times faster. And for the users of Jira Agile, going to the board takes only half the time that it used to in Jira 6.3. Additionally, as a result of newly implemented pagination and filtering options, browsing through projects and Agile boards is both faster and more user-friendly. Altogether, according to our tests, 
the average response times of completing the most common JIRA actions was reduced by 30% in JIRA 6.4. By upgrading your JIRA instance to the newest 6.4 version, your end users are very likely to notice that difference. But of course, there are more aspects that affect JIRA performance. Specifically, in large-scale implementations, it is important to understand how different JIRA data attributes influence the speed of the application. In this section, we will present the results of JIRA 6.4 scalability tests that investigated the relative impact of various configuration values. The results of customer survey confirmed that nearly every JIRA instance has a unique characteristic of its dataset. What we noticed is that as a customer's instances grow, often one or several of the attributes become significantly bigger than what could be expected from the sizes of the remaining data attributes. In this table, we have four sample customer instances that have reached close to 200,000 issues and a couple of thousand users. At the same time, the values of other JIRA configuration items were greatly varied, as you can see indicated in green for lowest and blue for the highest numbers. In fact, the increasing size of data influenced the speed of JIRA, but this influence is not equal or linear for every data attribute. So these somehow similar instances are likely to have significantly different response times for their users. Now, let me explain how we found out which configuration items result in stronger influence on JIRA performance than others. As a reference for this scalability test, we used a JIRA 6.4 instance with a sample test dataset described before, and we ran the full performance cycle on it. Next, we doubled each attribute and run independent performance tests for each doubled value. So we run the test with a double number of issues or double number of custom fields, while leaving all the other attributes in the baseline dataset unchanged. Then we compared the response times from the double dataset test cycle with the reference results. With this approach, we could observe how the growing size of individual JIRA configuration items affect the speed of a JIRA instance. And the most important outcome is that you should try to keep the number of custom fields in your JIRA instance as low as possible, because this is the attribute that has the highest impact on the speed of the most popular JIRA actions. In this chart, we present how the response times of JIRA actions increase for growing size of individual data attributes. So creating issues is most severely impacted by the number of custom fields. Doubling the number of custom fields makes the response time of create issue nearly two times longer. Also, the number of workflows significantly slows down creating issues. Searching for issues and using filters by no doubt is mostly impacted by the number of issues. But again, number of custom fields plays important role here. However, it is definitely more important for response time of viewing all issues. The time to load issue navigator is additionally affected by the number of projects. Opening of the edit issue dialog box is not heavily impacted by the size of data attributes other than number of workflows, which is understandable, and again, custom fields. What is worth noting in this chart, but also what we didn't show for clarity, is that some configuration attributes have only little or no impact on the response time of carrying out actions in JIRA. This is true, for example, for the number of users, which has some influence on creating issues, but in general, the total number of registered users does not impact the performance of JIRA. It is the activity of concurrent users that may slow down the instance, and this effect can be balanced in a cluster environment of JIRA data center. Speaking about deployment environments, Java runtime environment is a key component that can impact the overall performance of a web application such as JIRA. Java version 8 
provides solutions that mitigate a variety of performance-related symptoms. This results not only in a faster response times in stable conditions, but also helps prevent rapid degradation of performance and failures to load pages that were often experienced in JIRA with Java 6 and 7. According to our tests, JIRA with Java 8 in server mode is on average 30% faster than with Java 6, so we strongly recommend upgrading your JIRA deployment environment to Java 8. However, please note that Java 8 requires at minimum version 6.3 or above of JIRA. Let me also remind you that JIRA 6.4 is the last major version of JIRA to officially support Java 7. The positive impact of Java 8 on JIRA's performance was not only observed in test conditions. This is the live chart that shows how the response time of our public JIRA instance decreased after switching to Java 8. And we've already received a numerous bits of positive feedback from our customers, confirming that upgrade to Java 8 made their JIRA instances faster and more stable. Next, Otto will take us through why and how you can test performance of your JIRA instance. Thanks, Eve. As your company grows, Jira has the ability to scale with that growth, accommodating the increasing number of concurrent users. Being able to determine how your Jira instance will perform under increasing load from these concurrent users is one of the things we've heard from our enterprise customers recently. The customers we spoke to are looking for performance testing to give them greater certainty or confidence and specifically the ability to determine the capacity and robustness of their Jira servers. It has mainly been enterprise customers that have reached a very large scale, are growing rapidly, or have a complex Jira instance and environment that have expressed interest in this capability. When considering testing performance at scale, there are two types of tests that should be considered. These are load testing and stress testing. So load testing is a process to determine a system's performance under normal or expected peak use. On the other hand, stress testing takes this one step further and puts the system under extreme load, intending to identify the upper limit of that system. Both forms of testing can be used to improve your understanding of how your Jira instance currently performs, how your organization's Jira might behave with that growth, and what the impact of various changes to your instance might be. We get that teams have different needs. Over the past few months, we've spoken to many enterprise administrators to understand their performance testing needs, why they would need a performance testing capability, how would having performance testing capabilities ultimately change their decisions under their own unique circumstances. By asking these types of questions, we were able to identify several key reasons for why performance testing was a priority for these customers. These customers wanted to create a baseline of their instance performance against which they can run experiments based on making planned production changes. In terms of use cases, it was plugin management, upgrading to a new version of Jira, tuning the performance of the Jira server, and implementing Jira data center that were the most common drivers for performance testing. Independently measuring the performance changes on the development version of Jira would increase both understanding of and confidence in a Jira instance and leads to minimizing the likelihood of unforeseen issues once changes are moved to production. Understanding your organization's purpose when it comes to performance testing is an important initial step. We suggest that you should ask yourself, how will performance testing change the decisions we make? You should determine some initial hypotheses that could be validated by load or stress testing your system, and then consider how you or your team may benefit by knowing the answer to these questions or hypotheses. If there is a clear benefit from investing in performance testing, then you now have your foundation for the design of your performance tests and can begin to consider the kind of tools or approaches you may wish to use. Which leads us to secret number five. We've created a performance testing tool overview for you. There are several good tools available to help achieve the goals of your testing and these along with their pros and cons can be found via the bit.ly link at the bottom of this slide. Given the unique flexibility, extensibility, and configurability of Jira, almost every instance is unique. Suggesting one tool for all instances would therefore be difficult. Instead, 
We hope that the list we have provided here will be a starting point for you to explore. Moreover, when choosing a tool, two factors we would encourage our customers to weigh heavily are, one, familiarity with the tool, and two, the scripting languages used by the tool. Having a team member with previous experience of a tool is a good reason to start with that particular tool. As an example of a tool, let's look at Gatling, a load testing tool that has grown in popularity in recent years. Gatling is an open source load testing framework that utilizes Scala to deliver high loads against applications while measuring their performance. Gatling provides an easy to use recorder within a browser that enables simple actions to be recorded, edited, and then replayed against an instance. Gatling also provides reporting that will help you assess how an instance reacts with various changes or loads. Gatling was also the star of a summit presentation by JP Morgan Chase, where they detailed their performance testing of Jira. And if you haven't seen that presentation yet, we recommend watching it, as it may give you an insight into how a large enterprise has used Gatling to test a Jira instance and you'll find a bit.ly link at the bottom of this slide that'll take you directly to that, uh, that recording. Now I'm gonna hand it back to Marion, who will provide an introduction to our TAM offering before we launch into our Q&A session. Marion, over to you. Thanks, Otto. Did today's webinar get your performance testing gears churning, but you need more in-depth guidance? If you answered yes, then we have the solution for you. Our technical account management offering allows you to work with a trusted advisor on a strategic and tactical implementation, including guidance on load and stress testing of your entire Atlassian suite. When you purchase our technical account management offering, you will have a single trusted point of contact within Atlassian's four walls. A TAM, as we refer to them internally, will provide the latest insights from Atlassian as to how our products are updating, what additional feature sets are coming out that you can leverage, and how to best use them at scale within your organization. A TAM can also work with you on reviewing and interpreting your performance testing results in order to develop a strategic and tactical implementation plan moving forward. In addition, the TAM functions as an escalation point to ensure that Atlassian is being responsive to the needs of large enterprise organizations and complex use cases. A TAM ensures that you have a direct point of contact when you need to discuss your business critical challenges. The TAM will also interact with the various different teams within your organization who are utilizing the Atlassian product suite to ensure that the way their specific use case, customizations, automations, and the way they are governing their workflows is consistent with the overall deployment patterns within your organization so that you're able to govern the deployment and usage at scale. And finally, the TAM is also that conduit back into our product and engineering teams. This ensures that your voice is heard across the product teams and your concerns are being bubbled up into the way that the products function. This doesn't necessarily mean that every product feature request you report will be acted upon, but it does mean that you will have an advocate at the table who is pushing your particular concern at the forefront so that they will be considered. If you're looking for more hands-on assistance in implementing customized performance testing, we would actually suggest working with one of our Atlassian experts. We have a set of experts worldwide that are well versed in using, deploying, and managing our products at scale. And that's a wrap. Thank you so much for attending the webinar. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us via atlassian.com enterprise contact.